Hi guys, it is May 11th weekly. This is the advanced edition and it's growing food at home. Now, when you meet with Miss S this week, talk to her about her garden. She has lots of things growing in it. News to you, May 11th, 2020. Growing food at home. Many people grow their own food at home. They grow food that comes from plants such as vegetables and fruits. Most people start growing food in spring when the weather starts to become warmer. This spring, more people are growing their own food. Many people are staying home and avoiding crowds because of the coronavirus. People may want to go to the grocery store less often. They may want to buy less food to save money too. Many people want to grow their own food at home instead. So, because of the coronavirus, lots of people have been venturing out of their comfort zone and wanting to grow their own food, which is good because it helps the family and it's nutritious and it saves them money. Growing food at home can be fun. First, People choose where to grow their food. Many people grow food in gardens. The gardens may be in their backyards. The gardens are usually in sunny areas because sunlight helps food grow. People choose whether they want small gardens or big gardens. Then they dig up areas of ground for their gardens. Some people do not have backyards. These people may grow food in pots. They may put the pots onto sunny window cells, porches, or balconies. So, if you look at the pictures on this page, it shows you two different ways that you can have a garden. One way is to have pots. The other way is to have a planted bed. Now, the juniors and seniors have seen both of these different ways um, when they've gone to the tree farm. People choose what kinds of food to grow. People may grow vegetables like carrots, corn, green beans, peppers, and spinach. People may grow fruits like blueberries, grapes, raspberries, strawberries and watermelons people buy seeds to grow the foods they choose they put the seeds into dirt in the gardens or pots people pour water onto the seeds to help them grow the seeds become plants and then food grows on the plants people must wait for the food to become ripe before they can pick it ripe means the food is ready to eat so when you plant the seed, it doesn't just magically make food happen overnight. You have to feed and water it and let it grow. And then that seed will turn into a plant that will then give us the food that it's supposed to. People may eat the right food right after they pick it. Many people think the freshly picked food is delicious. People may put the food into jars or freeze it. They save this food to eat later. People may cook the food or use the food to make recipes too. Someone may use vegetables to make a sandwich, salad or soup. Someone may use fruits to make a smoothie, fruit salad or pie. Many people are growing their own food now in gardens or pots. Anyone can grow food. Would you like to grow your own food at home? So we have done lots of cooking this year with fruits and vegetables. You guys have tried so many new things this year. Um, if you can think of some, share them with your family. Let them know what you thought of them, how you liked them. Um, you, if you have your own garden, you don't always have to eat everything right away. You can freeze your fruits and veggies that you grow you can also can your fruits and veggies as you grow. 
Canning is something you could definitely ask Miss S about. She will be able to give you the down low on that. Miss um, Corbett has not canned very much um, in her life. The only thing I've really canned is I've helped my mom make jelly. So, um, but Miss S can tell you all about canning. She can let you see pictures of her garden. Okay, so that was it for this week's weekly. Go ahead and log into Canvas and do your assigned slides. I hope you guys have a great week.